Good evening everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you click this video, you're probably interested in getting some of this luxury suede fabric covering on some pieces of your vehicle. I'm gonna go through the stuff what I use, the stuff what I've learned not to use, and basically a little quick tutorial on how you're gonna be able to do that. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there now, so if you do subscribe, it's gonna be a massive help to me. Of course, if you like the content, like the video as well, share the video, that'd be massively appreciated by myself. So getting straight into it then, we'll go through a few of the things what you need. So first of all, you're gonna need your fabric. This there's going to be two types of this suede fabric when you're shopping from you're going to get the foam back fabric and you're just going to get the standard fabric if you're using it on uh, like plywood panels that sort of stuff i would definitely recommend getting the foam back fabric if you use the standard stuff it's a little bit thin you're going to see marks and blemishes through the fabric and also it's that thin you can sometimes see the adhesive build up on it so where you can use the foam back stuff it's not that much more it looks a lot better it gives that more plush feel in this instance where i've recovered mine in black i've not taken the old stuff off so mine's double thickness foam i did run into a few errors while i were doing that but all in all it's relatively easy to do you don't have to be very skilled in it to do it this is definitely not my forte and i managed to get a really good finish from doing it after that you're going to need some trim clips now when i was shopping for mine on ebay i had some slightly larger holes from mine i got my panels from plyworks they drilled slightly larger holes i've been informed since that they will drill smaller holes if you specify but to get them larger clips the only place what's really supplying them is harrison's trim supplies and they're mad expensive i even saw some images on uh, ebay of the larger clips and when i ordered them they came as the smaller clips weirdly there was like the odd large clip in the bag of a hundred but for the majority they were the smaller clips from my experience of using both the clips there's not much difference in standard like one doesn't last longer than the other that sort of stuff they're just a different size so definitely if you can do get get the get the panels drilled with the smaller clips you'll save yourself a lot of money you're going to need some adhesive as well i've used a few adhesives on uh, on applying this sort of stuff in the past this adhesive what i'm using now is probably the best bang for buck it's cheap very easy to use it lasts a long time it's very sticky i've used this on loads of applications in my van it's really good got some good heat resistant properties i've even glued my floor down with this stuff it lasts forever it's really good stuff and finally for cleaning it up if you do use the adhesive what i'm recommending you can get something that cleans it up some kind of tar remover glue remover one thing that i do recommend i've been through loads of these in the past when i were doing the detailing scene or debadging that sort of stuff this auto smart tardis is cheap stuff it's really good stuff and it will remove pretty much anything that's glue tar based that sort of stuff one thing i will say is using a well ventilated area i even use this to remove all the sound deadening from the track car which is notoriously difficult to do and this made mince meat of it so i'm going to do a bit of a speeded up video on me applying it to the panel i'm not going to go through everything because i feel, I feel like a lot of it is a uh, self-explanatory so i'm not going to waste your time with that i'm just going to cut in when i when i feel like something might need explaining some of the stuff that i've learned while doing mine one thing i will mention before i get into it don't be so bothered what the back looks like you're not going to see it you're going to just waste a lot of time trying to trim that up and in the future if you do decide to retrim it it's nice to have big tabs on the back that you can pull on so you can you can remove the fabric from the panel if you decide to do that later on
I'm going to show you how I trim around the corners and I'm also going to show you how I trim around the clips here. So I pull it all the way tight, all the way down to the corner like you would do a right angle corner. And then just before I get to the end here, I start on the other side, pull that nice and tight, stick that down. And then once you've got this little tab, I just grab it, pull it in. That's going to give us a nice clean finish on the other side. And I'll get my scissors, make a little nick. Try and get in there with the end of the scissors. You can begin to start poking it under the actual tab. Trim it some more. Try and get as much of that as I can under the tab. It's going to be pointing more towards the van. If you put it on top of it, you've got the extra thickness of the fabric between you and the fixing, and these fixings aren't overly long anyway, so you just want to push it as close to the van as you possibly can. And just on a normal flat edge fixing here, we're just going to go behind it with the scissors, cut a little V, slightly bigger. Pull it tight and same again. Try and tuck as much of this as we can underneath the fixing. You can push the fixing away from you, it lifts it up a little bit. Of course, you could do this with a standing knife, but I found when I was using standing knives, I was going through blades quite a lot. So just a few of the modifications you're going to have to make to the tailgate panel is I drilled these three holes here. Um, I placed the panel on with the initial fixings and then I drilled doors making holes in my vehicle tailgate and that way they perfectly line up. Also you're going to have to tape up this middle bit here if, you're not, uh, if you haven't got the electric button. I use the aluminium tape for that so that won't show through once it's wrapped. And in these fixings that are in the middle there's just, in my experience, there's just too much weight on this to be held by the hidden trim fixings. So this time round, I'm going to be putting normal fixings in there. I've got some black fixings that will go in. It shouldn't look too bad. 
but uh, the, the hidden trim fixings just weren't strong enough for that. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have got any questions that I haven't covered during this video, then please do drop the comment down below. I'll be sure to answer your question. And as always, if I don't know the answer, I'll definitely be able to find out the answer for you. Thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe.